I just want to do a quick little video, and I know what you're thinking already. Trey, you've been picking on the Sean Allen guy a lot. He can't be as bad as you say that he is, even though we have documented proof. Last year, what did I beat him? 64 to 8 or something in the things that I called him out for. I've been playing fantasy hockey for three years. I've won three years in a row. And now at this point, I'm so good at it to where I don't think I'll ever lose, even though that's another side note. I want people to understand how big of a fucking joke that Sean Allen is. And I know what you're thinking already. Trey, we get it. He's not good. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. It's so bad that I cannot believe that ESPN has not called me and say, Trey, please do our fantasy hockey rankings. Like, how as a company are you willing to put up with this? What I'm about to show you today is so fucking unbelievable that you're not going to believe. And again, I know what you're thinking. Trey, haven't you beaten the dead horse enough? Trey, we understand that you're way better at fantasy hockey than Sean Allen. We get it. You guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, first and foremost. So his columns are fucking terrible again. Not a surprise. He also doesn't tweet, but that's okay. He doesn't promote his stuff at all. I know that I would do a significantly better job than him, but that's not even the topic today, man. That's not even the topic. And I'm going to put out something a little bit different about Huberto, but that's another side note. Let's go to his latest column. This is about fantasy bounce backs, right? Let's go to his latest column. First of all, he doesn't even get the fucking picture right. That (laughs) is Patrick Laine. This is Joe Pavelski. I don't know if he knows that or doesn't know that. I don't know. Listen, I'm sure he's got a lot, a big team behind him. Maybe some graphic guy fucked up. All right. Maybe some graphic guy fucked up. Who knows? We've had our own fair share of terrible graphics people at our company. So I I get it. But you can't publish this. (laughs) Like, how can you publish this? Like, even if the graphic guy fucked up, how can you publish this? And, and it's like, Okay, so is the red actually Pavelski or is it line A? Like, did they fuck up the red line too? Or is this is this actually Pavelski, but they screwed up the picture? We don't know. <laughs> How do we know? But that's, again, that's not even the topic that I want to talk about today. There's a couple other things. All right, Max Petrarelli. The, the idea that he's going to be a fantasy a- asset, not even, not even going to mention that part of it. Right. First of all, he's got Brad Marchand. Oh, his ADP of 165.9 feels right. Meanwhile, he's got him ranked. He's got him ranked at 207. So clearly you don't believe that his ADP feels right. Despite the fact that you've ranked him. What? 40. Two picks lower, right? Does it make sense to you guys? Because it doesn't fucking make sense to me. Okay, anyway, again, that's not even the thing that I want to talk about. This fucking asshole goes on a two-paragraph rant about how Patrick Kane is going to be a fantasy darling. And again, it's not even the fact that he's clueless. It's not even the fact that he's fucking terrible at this. Now he's lying. Now we're at the point where he's lying. Okay? We want to read through this, right? Coming off off-season shoulder surgery. Let's Google this together. Because that didn't happen. Shoulder surgery. Where Where is that? Did that happen? I can't find that anywhere. That's not even that's not even a Googleable thing. 2015, it looks like he uh hurt his clavicle. 2015, broken left collarbone. What happened is he's coming off of hip surgery. That's what happened. He's coming off of hip surgery. Okay. When you type in hip surgery, now we got we got searchable results. June 1st, August 31st, hip surgery, out four to six months. Again, I don't rely on uh, Jay Fresh for everything. I I do like his graphics, however. I do like his graphics. He makes a great point here. Last year, we saw him play with a contender. It was not good. It was not good. 
The numbers speak for themselves. Watch the fucking games, too. You don't even have to look at the numbers. The idea that Patrick Kane is going to be this fantasy hero is crazy. And it's not only that, but again, it's hip surgery. At least he got it fucking right. I mean, how can you go in your column and fucking lie? Or maybe, maybe he's just so dumb that he doesn't know. Off-season, he really said this. Off-season shoulder surgery. That didn't happen. When does it become enough, ESPN? That's what I want to know. When does it become enough? It's one thing that the guy's terrible. It's another thing that I'm kicking his ass. When do we draw the line at him lying? (laughs) When do we draw the line at him creating fake rankings out of nowhere? Again, that's even a side note. When do we draw the line at him getting players completely inaccurate when creating graphs or charts or whatever you want to call this? Okay, these are all side notes. How can you possibly justify this man keeping his job when he can't even get the injury stuff right? I'm waiting. And fucking shame on you people. Shame on you people for not sharing this. Shame on you people for not retweeting this. The idea that this guy still has a job is because you people aren't loud enough about it. It's because ESPN hasn't gotten enough complaints about it. I can't be the only one that's doing it. At some point, the rest of you people have to jump in and say, holy shit, maybe we should do something about this. Maybe what Trey is saying should be echoed. Maybe what Trey is saying should be further talked about. Again, maybe maybe we'll call it Sean Allen is now lying. It's one thing that he's fucking horrible. And again, I'll link it in the post. We kicked his ass last year and it was ugly. I mean, the guy said David Pasternak sucked. <laughs> I mean, it was ugly last year and we'll link all that stuff. It was ugly last year. It's one thing that he's bad at it. Okay. People that are bad at stuff, you know, we make mistakes. I don't think he should keep his job, but people that have made mistakes have kept their job. Got it. Got it. At what point does it become, listen, man, what do you even say? Because this didn't happen. He didn't have off-season shoulder surgery. This is the guy that is creating the ESPN fantasy rankings. This is the guy that is creating the ESPN content. What the fuck are we doing here? I mean, seriously. And again, there's almost no chance that Patrick Kane is a fantasy asset this year. He's going to be dead wrong. That's one thing. It's another thing when the information that he's saying is incorrect, factually. Again, Trey, you're picking on Sean Allen. He can't be that bad. Find me another ESPN reporter, ESPN columnist, anybody that works for ESPN that's lying. He's literally lying. I mean, that's that's a lie. It's literally factually incorrect. Explain to me why he has his job. I got to know. I got to know. And the worst part about it is he's probably getting paid handsomely. And you people are allowing it to happen. Just saying. If you guys actually started sharing shit, commenting on shit, tagging ESPN Fantasy, things would change. But I can't be the only one saying it. Because my voice... (laughs) What do you want me to say at this point? He's literally lying now. He's literally lying. And again, I'm going to kick his ass again this year. We know that. But at some point, where do we fucking draw the line? Is he going to keep his job for lying? Okay. Again, this is up to you guys now. I've said my piece. I've given you the info. I've given you the evidence. He's not only bad, he has absolutely no fucking clue what he's talking about. And people like that are dangerous in this industry. That's what you people need to understand. It's another year of Sean Allen. And again, 
it's time for you guys to do your job. Start tagging ESPN Fantasy. Let them know what's going on here because it's it's outrageous. <laughs> the, I mean, ESPN literally controls the fantasy outlets. How many people, you guys got fantasy leagues out there. I'm going to say 80% of people do their fantasy leagues on ESPN, whether it's baseball. I mean, I'm in the ESPN fantasy baseball league. I don't know, man. Wake the fuck up. Because it's it's beyond the point where I'm just embarrassing him on his takes. The guy has no fucking clue. So, wake up. It's time. And again, when are they going to pay me to do their rankings? Because enough is enough.